Live streaming is all the rave nowadays. Whether it's streaming on Twitch, Facebook Live, Twitter, and even the elusive Instagram Live, it's a really popular thing to do. But with great popularity comes great market saturation. And in order to stand out, you've got to have a high quality stream. So in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to set up a high quality streaming rig. And also I'll show you how you can get started streaming on all the popular streaming platforms I just mentioned using one single piece of software. First, let's talk about the software. Now there's a ton of software out there to allow you to go live, but the most popular of them all happens to be OBS or open broadcast software. This application is free to download and works across multiple platforms such as Macintosh, Windows, and even Linux. But since it's best optimized for Windows, that's the version we're going to be working on in this video. Now let's talk about our streaming hardware, because to be honest with you, this is the real key. Now technically, you don't have to have a dedicated streaming PC, but if you want to give your audience the best experience, you're going to need a dedicated streaming PC. So for my streaming system, I went for something pretty high end. It has a Core i7-8700K processor in it. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, a mixture of hard drives, one being a four terabyte mechanical hard drive and the other being an Intel 900P Optane SSD and a mid-range GPU, most namely the AMD RX 570. Now for the most part, this system is technically overkill and you can get away with an older generation Core i5 or Core i7 CPU, around eight gigabytes of RAM and of course a smaller hard drive. So now that we got the primary components out of the way, let's talk about our capture cards. Now there are many types of capture cards out there by many different brands. Some are USB 3.0, while others go inside of your PCI Express slot. The latter offering higher frame rates and lower latency video capture. These are the best if you want to go live game streaming. While the USB capture cards are usually much cheaper solutions but offer up higher latency with lower frame rates. As you can probably tell from my B-roll, I actually own two capture devices. One being the Avermedia Live Gamer 4K and the other being the Elgato Camlink 4K. For our next component, we're gonna need a camera. Now, of course, we can just slap on something simple like a Logitech C920, which is a very popular webcam for live streaming, but that's a little bit too basic for us. The reason why we have two cards is to hook one up to a high-end DSLR or mirrorless camera like my Sony a6400. Now, when you combine that camera with the fast lens, you're gonna have a super sharp and high-quality video for the live stream. Finally, for our last component, you're gonna need a high-end microphone. Now, there are a ton of options out there to choose from, and they're all not necessarily super expensive. I've done a few microphone reviews here on the channel, and generally when it comes to podcasting or live streaming, I like to recommend dynamic microphones simply because they're gonna have a lot of off-axis rejection, and they're not gonna pick up on a lot of the ambient noise that you might have going from in your room, whether it's a computer fan or possibly something else, a train passing by, you're not gonna pick up on all of that audio. But there are some basic cardio pickup pattern microphones out there such as this guy right here this is the blue ember it is about a hundred dollar option and i'm just testing it out for now i really do like the way it sounds and actually if you're interested in the way it sounds i'll switch over to it so like I just mentioned, this microphone only costs around $100, and in my opinion, offers up some fantastic sound. And even for a regular cardioid pickup pattern microphone, it has some pretty good off-axis rejection, and uh, it definitely is a great option for situations just like this. Since there's so many microphone options to choose from, I'll leave a list down in the video description below, and I'll try to rank them from most expensive to least expensive, or from best to worst, and you guys can actually check it out for yourself. So once you have your computer all set up and you have your OBS software installed, there is a little bit of configuration you do have to do. Now there are a ton of options out there and a lot to learn and there are plenty of video tutorials out there on those things. But really quickly, I just want to show you once you have all your scenes and your sources all set up how simple and easy it is to get started streaming on different platforms. So once you head over to your settings section and you actually do go into your streams, you notice they have a bunch of pre-populated services. So like I mentioned earlier, they have Twitch, they have YouTube. YouTube, they have Facebook Live, and they even have Twitter slash Periscope. And you are able to actually also stream to a platform such as Instagram Live by using a custom RTMP server. Now, again, I'm not really going to get into that in this video because that can be a whole video in and of its own, but just letting you guys know it is possible all with one piece of software. Okay, so as a quick recap, all you're gonna need to broadcast a high quality live stream is a really fast computer, an HDMI capture card, a high-end digital SLR or mirrorless camera, and a high-end microphone. Once you have all those pieces together, you are off to the races and you'll actually have a live stream that looks as good as this YouTube video you're watching right now. But that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. 
Also, if you have any questions about my live streaming rig or anything technical at all, don't forget to leave those down in the comment section below as well. If it's your first time to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks for checking out this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next one.